Welcome back YouTube, you have Ahmed again from In-Depth Thick Reviews and I have a really exciting news for the people who are using Android Q Beta. Google just released the fifth beta like one hour ago and I'm installing it now on my Pixel 3 XL. So I'm gonna give you a complete walkthrough for all the changes. So let's get started. So I'm just done with installing the fifth beta for Android Q and there are a few changes I noticed in the lock screen. First thing, the lock icon moved from the bottom towards the top and also the clock pushed down. There are other two curvy lines at the bottom corners that will allow you to launch Google Assistant. So here I unlocked my phone and if I swipe diagonally, I will be able to launch Google Assistant from any side at the bottom. Another noticeable improvement in the gestures are the stability of them. So if you swipe between apps, you see now it's a lot more smoother. There is no glitches or there is no lag. So it's working perfectly well. In the fourth beta for Android Q, there was a lot of issues in the uh, gestures navigation. So it's now a lot better. And also it looks a lot better if you swipe up to close the app. The animation is now looks a lot better than before. Another welcome change in the gesture navigation. If you swipe up from the home screen, you only access your app drawer. You no longer go to your recent apps first. Uh, and if you want to access your recent apps, you just do a half swipe. Also, if you swipe up from here, it doesn't take you to the app drawer as well, which means they are two different gestures. And that's decreasing the amount of overlapping and confusion between the two gestures. So this is a very welcome change. If you used the previous beta of Android Q, you should be aware that the back button has been removed and it has been replaced by a swipe from the edge of the screen if you want to go back. Uh, however, this created an overlap between the swipe for hamburger menu and the back action. Uh, so now Google implemented a new gesture to solve this problem is by tapping and holding on the edge of the screen to be able to show your hamburger menu. Uh, while swiping directly, it will take you back. So if you want to get the hamburger menu, you tap and hold on the edge of the screen. I'm sorry, you tap and hold on the edge and then swipe to, get, to show your hamburger menu. But if you want to go back, you just simply swipe without holding your finger. Another small visual change here is for the rotation button. So if your auto rotate is switch it off and you want to go to landscape, now the icon is bigger and it shows at the bottom left corner of the screen. Even if you want to switch back to portrait mode, it's still showing in the same location, which is easier to reach and looks a lot better than before. There is a new option called pause app that will allow you to pause the notifications from this app for the entire day. And to achieve this, you can swipe half swipe to access your recent apps screen and then you tap the icon and then you have an option called the pause app. If you tap on it, this app will be paused, which means there is no notifications will be coming from this app for the rest of the day. And if you want to unpause this app, just simply tap its icon and choose unpause app. So the app will run back again and its icon will be colorful. Uh, if the app is paused, it will show as black and white icon. So let's try that again. Pause app. The app will be in black and white. If you tap on it, you will be able to unpause it. So this is simply a quick way for pausing notifications from this app for the rest of the day. Another way to pause an app is by tapping and holding on the icon and then you will see a sand clock uh, icon at the bottom left corner. If you tap on it, it will pause it for you. And again, you can unpause it that way. Another small visual change is the black boot screen. So if you are on the dark theme and you restarted your phone, you no longer see this white boot screen. Now it's dark, which is um, very nice. And I do like it because usually when I restart my phone, it becomes really bright. If you are in a dark room, it will blind you for a few seconds. So that's a very welcome change as well.
And one more thing, uh, this beta is on uh, the security patch of July, as you see here, July 5th. Uh, so that's overall all the changes I noticed since I installed uh, this beta version. And I do really like the new navigation, it's more stable and it makes a lot more sense to me now. So. If you uh, think I missed something, please let me know in the comments and uh, thank you for watching. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos.